Well, I'm glad you're tuned back into a Triple T and Ranch sawmill video. But this video is about a manure spreader we just got. I bought some chicken manure back in June. It's been on the ground since June, so it's been composting for six months. And if you look right here, you can see there's no feathers anymore. It's like dirt. This is what we'll be spreading today. I've got 98 tons to spread and two bucket loads of the tractor fills this uh, John Deere spreader up. The lever on the left there, that engages the feeders in the back. The lever on the right was to, to set the desired rate of feed through the beaters. December 14th, 2019. Kim's using his John Deere manure spreader for the first time. Be happy this isn't a smell video because you would not want to smell this chicken manure. Woo. Spreading pretty good though. He's putting it around all the pecan trees and we have apple, apricot, pecan, pear. And we're pretty good. Fairly good distribution of the manure. The lever on the right, on the left there, that operates this right through here. It lifts or lowers the chain on this ground drive sprocket. So that in turn, when it engages, runs down to this axle and this axle, and it powers the beaters from the ground. So the faster you pull it, the faster the beaters are. Now this side over here, eccentric drive right back in here, it's also ground driven. You can kind of see it there. And when you pull the lever, the other lever over there, it determines the rate of speed. And the way that happens is that eccentric circle or drive will allow this to push this farther or shorter strokes depending on where you have the lever and that drives the shaft under here which rolls the chain and the guides down through the bottom or it's actually this way live bottom so as this rotates it pushes the manure this way thanks everyone for watching have a blessed day